Welcome to A to Z Summary YouTube channel. Here is a detailed analysis and summary of the novel Life of Pi by Jan Martel. Before proceeding further I request you to please subscribe our channel and like the video, also comment your favorite books and novel so that I can provide summary for it, now let's start with the summary. The themes of the novel are The characters in the novel are Life of Pi by Jan Martel is an adventurous and thought-provoking novel that tells the story of a young Indian boy named Pai Patel. Pai survives a shipwreck in the Pacific Ocean and finds himself on a lifeboat with a Bengal tiger named Richard Parker. The novel explores themes of survival, faith, and the power of storytelling. Pai's journey is both a physical and spiritual one. He faces the challenges of surviving at sea, dealing with hunger and danger, all while trying to coexist with a tiger. The story also delves into Pai's religious beliefs as he practices Hinduism, Christianity, and Islam simultaneously. One of the novel's key messages is the importance of storytelling and the role it plays in shaping our understanding of reality. Pai tells his incredible tale to investigators, offering multiple versions of his story. This leaves readers questioning the truth and the power of imagination. The novel begins in the small town of Pondicherry, India, where the Patel family owns a zoo. Pai's father, Santosh Patel, is a strict but caring zookeeper. Pai, with his inquisitive nature, embraces the beauty of the animal kingdom and develops an unusual passion for spirituality and religion. However, his life takes a dramatic turn when his father decides to sell the zoo and emigrate to Canada due to financial troubles. The Patel family, along with some of their zoo animals, boards a Japanese cargo ship named the Tsimtsum. Tragically, the ship encounters a violent storm in the Pacific Ocean, leading to its sinking. Pai miraculously survives, finding himself on a lifeboat in the vast ocean, accompanied by a zebra, a hyena, an orangutan named Orange Juice, and a Bengal tiger named Richard Parker. As Pai struggles to come to terms with the loss of his family and the harsh reality of his situation, the survival instincts kick in. The lifeboat becomes a microcosm of the struggles for survival and dominance in the animal kingdom. Pai must navigate the delicate balance between coexisting with the wild animals and ensuring his own survival. The hyena quickly dispatches the injured zebra and the orangutan, leaving Pai alone with the fierce Bengal tiger, Richard Parker. A tense relationship develops between Pai and the tiger, as they learn to share the limited resources on the lifeboat. Pai devises a plan to assert his dominance and establish his territory on the boat, creating a makeshift raft to keep a safe distance from Richard Parker. Days turn into weeks, and Pai's struggle for survival becomes more desperate. He relies on his resourcefulness and the meager supplies he salvages from the lifeboat. The vastness of the ocean serves as a backdrop to Pai's inner journey, where he grapples with loneliness, despair, and the will to live. Pai's journey takes an unexpected turn when he and Richard Parker land on a mysterious island. The island provides temporary respite, offering fresh water and abundant food. However, Pai soon discovers the island's dark secret, it is carnivorous. The island comes alive at night with acidic pools, consuming anything that remains on its surface. Realizing the imminent danger, Pai and Richard Parker hastily leave the island, returning to the lifeboat and the open sea. The island serves as a surreal interlude, highlighting the unpredictable nature of survival and the transient nature of safety. The narrative takes another shift as Pai is rescued by a Japanese ship. Weak and emaciated, he recounts his incredible tale to a team of skeptical investigators. Pai narrates two versions of his story, one with the animals and the other involving human survivors. In the first version, Pai emphasizes the magical and allegorical aspects of his journey, depicting the animals on the lifeboat as anthropomorphic characters representing different facets of human nature. In the second version, he presents a more realistic but grisly account, involving cannibalism and murder among the human survivors. The investigators are perplexed and disbelieving, unable to comprehend the fantastical elements of Pi's first story. They push Pi to choose the version that makes more logical sense, but Pi insists that the story with the animals is the true one. The novel leaves the reader questioning the nature of truth, belief, and the power of storytelling. Life of Pi is a captivating exploration of the human spirit's resilience in the face of adversity. 
Pai's journey is not just a physical one across the Pacific but a profound spiritual and philosophical odyssey. The novel challenges the boundaries between reality and fiction, leaving readers to ponder the role of faith, storytelling, and the human capacity for survival. Ultimately, Life of Pi invites readers to reflect on the power of belief, the fluid nature of truth, and the enduring strength of the human spirit. Whether one chooses to believe in the fantastical tale of a boy and a tiger at sea or the harsh reality of survival at any cost, the novel leaves an indelible mark, urging us to embrace the mysteries of life with an open heart and a resilient spirit. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more bookish content.